As an American living abroad, I spend an awful lot of time on airplanes and you're stuck in this tiny little seat and you've got nowhere to go and nothing to do. So I like to use that time to my advantage and I create a little spa day in the air. Say hi puppy. And my bum. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary, I'm 50 years old, and I love experimenting with products, devices, methods, anything that's gonna help me look as young as I feel. So if you like what you see, I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so you know every time a new video is uploaded, which happens every Friday. So I do a lot of US travel, generally three or four times a year. I've kind of got family all over, so that's where my holidays tend to go. So I like to use the time that I'm stuck on the plane to help care for my skin. The air is obviously super dry and it doesn't do kind things to our skin but even more than just kind of keeping it hydrated and whatnot it helps me feel better when I get there when I get to my destination because I do feel a bit more refreshed so all in all this just suits and, and accomplishes a lot of tasks so when I start to pack for any trip this is sort of an automatic thing that I have my little bag that I take on the plane with me and I'm just about to go back over to the States for the first time in like two years so I thought this was a good time to kind of share what I do when I travel okay I'm gonna stay the obvious here it does sound a little crazy <laughs> and people are going to probably look at you like you're a little crazy but you know I had to let that go a long time ago I've probably been doing this now for I don't know 13 14 years I've been living away for 16 now this summer which is crazy um, so it's something that I have been doing for so long my eldest who is 18 now oh she used to get so incredibly embarrassed and she put her head down and she did not want to be associated with me at all but it's funny how time changes everything because now she's like, ooh, can I have some of that? Ooh, can I have some of that? So she's actually doing her own spawn day on the planes now too. So everything that I have on the plane fits into this little bag. This is the one that is TSA and sort of travel approved and everything fits into here. So everything is under 100 mils. So it's not too big. It just goes into my regular sort of carry on and we're ready for action. So everything that is in this, what I'm going to do is show you all the products and then I'm actually going to show you what I do. I'm going to do my routine right now. It doesn't take a long time and I guess like all of my skincare, I find the whole thing ritualistic and I enjoy it. So I try not to pay too much attention to what people around me think and I do it because I enjoy it and it makes me feel better and my skin is better for it. Okay, so what do I have in here? The things that I have is some sort of micellar water. I happen to have the small one. If I didn't have this I would use my bioderma and I would just put you know decant it into one of those little containers which works perfectly I always have a couple of cotton rounds um, I have a mask and I know it's gonna sound crazy but it's not so bad that I tend to decant into these little guys so that it's small enough to, to, to take with me I use a hair product at the moment I'm using Olaplex um, number eight which is just my new favorite thing um, some makeup that I may or may not use, we'll find out. I have Elizabeth Arden's um, eight, hour, eight hour cream, I think it's called. Um, I always have a hand cream. It looks like I have two hand creams, in fact. <laughs> I have um, a moisturizer. I have a lip balm. There's a face oil. There is an eye serum or an eye cream. Actually, this is another moisturizer. I would probably be taking one of those out. Um, I have a spray mist that I use, and I think that's everything. Okay. okay, I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but that's okay. Um, it's it's just actually such a joy to do this stuff when I'm on the plane. So usually when I go to the airport, this is kind of what I'm looking like. I have a little bit of makeup on, not a huge amount of makeup. I'm actually using my Laura Geller, which is a powder foundation, which is great for travel. So I have a little bit of that on. I have some eyebrow pencil, I have a mascara, a tiny bit of blush, and I have a lip balm, and that's pretty much it. So when I get on the plane, actually as soon as I sit down and you know, you're strapped in, even before we take off, I kind of start this process. And I start by taking some micellar water and basically just taking the makeup off. So yes, you know, you're sitting next to people who are kind of looking at you like you're a little bonkers, you know, <laughs> particularly if it's a businessman, <laughs> just does not understand what's going on. Now, it's not like I, I spread everything out in front of me. I don't, I, you know, I'm relatively discreet about it. Um, but here I am, la 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 la, taking off all the makeup. Now I leave my mascara on and I leave on the eyebrow pencil just because it gives a little bit of shape. But here I am taking off all the makeup. Yeah, stuff coming off and I keep going basically until it comes up clean and I've gotten everything off that's, that's okay so 
now that my face is nice and clean, I go in with my first mask, because yes, I do more than one. And there are two that I tend to use for this, right? Now these are not ones that people can see. They go on, I guess, a little bit white, but they, they do completely go to clear. I use both the Skin Hydrating Mask by Dermalogica, and I also use the Origins Drink Up Moisture um, Mask. So generally I sit down um, after everything's clean, and I put on sort of a, a thin first layer. Actually, I probably have too much product in my skin or in my hand right now, but that's okay. You just rub it all over and you see it doesn't have a color to it, so it's fine. It does give you a little bit of a sheen, but I don't mind that. And then once that on, I kind of just let that sit. And by now I'm kind of getting my book out and <clears throat> check and see what kind of movies are on, get making sure the kids are settled, everybody's got everything they need, although they don't really need me anymore. They're kind of past that point. But um, it's usually about five or 10 minutes. And this really starts to absorb into the skin. The Mist, now this is kind of my best friend. And if you come to this channel, you know I'm a serial mister. So, um, this is probably the weirdest part and doing this throughout when people are sitting next to you, you do tend to get a lot of looks now. If you don't have the confidence to do this in front of other people, which I totally get, you can just spray it in your hand and kind of go like this. It just gives a little bit of dampness and lovely. I actually should have done it before the mask. I forgot that step. I tend to start with this one. This particular product is by um, True Botanicals. It's their nutrient mist and calm, and it's just lovely, it smells great, and the mist feature is just the perfect amount. It's actually heavenly, it's a really nice product. Okay, see that's starting to dry in now. My skin has kind of soaked it in. So after about 10 or 15 minutes, yep, yeah, I go in with the second round of our mask. Super hydrating stuff here, people. I am setting my skin up for a nice bath. And I put that in all over. Oh, this just feels so good on my skin. Okay. Okay. So then what I go in with next is either an eye cream or an eye serum. Um, what do I have here? I'm just using this one from um, Sencha. This little guy here, it's a serum, just because it's actually small. The best thing to do if you can is get little samples of products. That's perfect for, for travel because they're already small. So if you go get a facial or you're buying some products, always ask for samples because that's the best thing to fit into this little bag. Okay, and what I do is put that all around the orbital bone. It's particularly realize how ridiculous my hair is looking there around the crow's feet just nice and hydrated sorry my hair's gone a bit wonky isn't it okay oh that's so nice okay so i've done my eyes and then i pull out my elizabeth arden eight hour cream and i just put this on my lips because this is super hydrating and moisturizing for the lips now another thing you can do is actually put this on the cuticles. Um, although oftentimes I pack a separate oil with me for that, which I think I forgot to put in the bag, which I will add to it. Okay. Then I go in with a hand cream. I go in with this one, which this one is by Locutane. I always end up picking them up in the airport because I forget to take them. So I have like 30 of these underneath the bed in my storage. Okay. Put those on the back of the hands. almond they are lovely okay so once everything has dried in a bit I don't know maybe an hour or two into the journey I will apply some face oil um, and I just oil is my greatest friend and I love it of all oil everywhere I love it on my body I love it in my hair um, it's great for the face and then I just pat this in So once the face is done, then I go in with a little love for my hair, and my latest obsession is the Olaplex Bond Oil, which is number eight. 
My hair is super dry now because I'm a blonde, <laughs> which is not my true color. Um, so it gets really, really dry. So this has become my new best friend and it's super lightweight. You don't need to be afraid of it because I have limp, flat, straight hair. And this has been my little savior because it just gives my hair a tall drink of water and it makes it less frizzy and makes it less you know, scratchy or whatever. It's just a godsend. My hair's sticking to my face because I have all the products on. <laughs> if I had longer hair, I'd be putting my hair up, but I don't, so, okay. So the things that I will reapply throughout the journey. Now my journey times can really vary. If I'm flying to the East Coast, then, you know, it's about seven or eight hours. If I'm going to Midwest, because sometimes I do Thanksgiving in Chicago, that's more like, you know, eight or nine. And if I'm doing California, that's anywhere from 10 to 13, depending on stops and whatnot, whatever. So I tend to reapply semi-regularly. And the things that I will be doing would be misting. I will be applying my um, eye serum or my eye cream and my face oil. And I will do those, I don't know, maybe once every hour, every two hours, just depends how it goes. And I will probably reapply the hair oil as well. If it's a really long journey and my skin just is, is not, it's just not happy, then I might take all this off and do it again. You know, just start with a couple of masks and put everything on again. It's just whatever my skin, I think it needs. Okay, so that's sort of the stuff that I'm doing um, in the air as we go. And then when we're, I don't know, an hour out, 45 minutes out from the destination, we know we're about to land. I start to kind of prepare my face for <laughs> civilization. <laughs> so I tend to take a bit of the Bioderma again, and then I just sort of take off what's left. At this stage, stuff is pretty well soaked into my skin and it should be feeling pretty darn good. So I'll just kind of go over it with my Bioderma to get sort of whatever is left off. And then I tend to go into the bathroom at this stage and you know, brush my teeth or whatever. And then you can splash a bit of water on your face. And then is when I will put on some moisturizer or something on but to prepare me for getting off. So I have a moisturizer here, which I will use my, um, I think this is Emma Hardy, the Midas Touch Revitalizing Cream. It would have been a sample that I've gotten from Sephora or one of those guys. Okay, just put a little bit of that on. My hair is completely sticking to my face. What goes next is not gonna come as a surprise to anybody. That's gonna be SPF. I do not want to be getting off this plane without some solid SPF in place. Now for this, I'm using a product by Trini London. It is called the BFF Cream and it's her skin perfecter. It's not makeup, it's not skincare, it's somewhere in the middle. It's one of my favorite products of all time and it has an SPF 30 in it. So I do wanna put on a fair amount of it to get that SPF coverage, but I like this because if I decide that I don't wanna wear any makeup, I don't have to. It does just enough blurring that it makes me feel like I've made a bit of an effort and it makes my skin just look better. It does disappear, don't be frightened by the whiteness. Uh, this is hands down one of my favorite products of 2020, my new discoveries and I love it. Okay. Okay, so do you see how it just sort of, I don't know, it kind of blurs everything. It makes, evens out the skin tone a little bit. It releases these little pigments and it has a lot of really good skin loving ingredients. This is one of my favorite products. And generally, that's pretty much it. Now, if I decide I wanna go a step further, I might put on a little bit of um, mineral powder foundation, but otherwise, you know, I generally don't. And the beauty to this is that after 13 hours on a flight, you're wrecked. And this, I find, gives me a little pep and it makes me feel a heck of a lot better when I arrive. Um, it makes my skin feels good, I feel plump, I feel refreshed. And while I absolutely look like a crazy person, and I'm totally aware of that <laughs> because I'm told by anybody who travels with me, um, I love it. And it makes me happy and it makes my skin happy. And it just means that when I come off that plane and I arrive at my destination, I'm all better for it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if you guys out there do anything like this. If you do, I would love to hear what products you're using. Are there any techniques? Um, I'd really like to think I'm not the only crazy person. <laughs> no, 
never actually seen anybody doing this, but that doesn't mean that they're not. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So I'd love if you put some comments down below. Tell me if you liked this video. I hope you did. And if so, please do give me a thumbs up. And that's it for this week. So thanks for joining and I'll see you next week. Bye. I can't open it. My hands are too greasy. I need your help. <laughs> it should just twist off. Oh, my hands are too greasy.